call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. discussed on Phil's Gang are not in any way a recommendation or solicitation to buy, sell, or hold. If considering acting on information presented, we first recommend you seek out a competent, licensed professional for advice. Get ready for the radio show that tells you what Wall Street doesn't want you to know. Oh, I'm a money magnet. Money, money, money's coming to me. Money sets me free. I'm a money magnet. Money, 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 your daily dose of how to manage your money. And now it's time for Phil's Gang on the Off the Wall Street Radio Network with your host, Phil Brandy. Where is the crisis when we're saving more than at any time since World War II? You know, when I hear that, we got all the savings. We have so much savings, we don't know what to do with it. This is another typical lie from the fake business news people. Savings. First of all, when they count to say, they say there's $7 trillion in savings. I believe that. But you got to break it down. Just like stocks. There's many, great many people that don't own stocks. And same with savings. Most of the savings are in few hands. Give me an example. $7 trillion. The median household has fewer than 11,000 in savings. 35% have less than $1,000. 20% of households have only $8,760. The top 1% have $3.8 million. And the owners, our owners, the 1 one-hundredth of one percentile, have 8.7 million in savings. So, you see where the savings is? They make it sound like everybody's just loaded with savings. It's not true. 72% of our workforce continues to work paycheck to paycheck. But let's stay on this uh, savings and stock. Not a lot of people own stock. Do you know that only 14% of American households are directly invested in an in individual stock. Let me repeat. Only 14% of American households are directly invested in an individual stock. 42.2% of our 160 million labor force have 401ks, but 50% do not participate because their wages haven't gone up enough since 1972 to participate, and inflation's been killing them. Inflation's been everything. You know, we've been lied to for 13 years about inflation. All this printing of money, all this QE was going to be fantastic. It was all going to help Main Street. None of that was true. It was never designed to help Main Street. They got screwed. Now, if you go all the way back, let's go all the way back to when the market crashed and Obama <clears throat> came out and he made a statement. We will need to stabilize, repair, and reform our banking system and get credit flowing again to families and businesses. But that's not what they did. The scheme was not to do that. The tools of the Fed worked through the Wall Street banks, and in so doing, were disproportionately benefiting the wrong people. Ah, that's right. The money wasn't going to Main Street. They came up with a big lie and said, oh, we're going to help Main Street, but it didn't. The money was printed by the Federal Reserve, and they gave it to the biggest banks. The banks are sitting on their butts and they're still not lending money. And until One of the problems was that the banks were holding on to a lot of the money instead of making it available to borrowers. The banking sector is broken. That's right. If you remember that, the folks that had homes and they were going to go under, they were begging the banks to loan the money and the banks wouldn't loan the money. They weren't getting any of the money. 
all the money was going to the very wealthy, to the 1% to take care of them. Remember TARP? They finally came out with this crooked program called TARP. And also remember, <clears throat> Bernanke and Obama told the banks when they printed all this money, the Federal Reserve, and gave it to the banks right after the crash, not to loan any money to homeowners. And definitely don't own, loan any money to small businesses. But yet, Obama made it clear. We will need to stabilize, repair, and reform our banking system and get credit flowing again to families. And yeah, get credit flowing. They, the last thing they wanted was credit or money going to families. And all these banks were sitting on money, and what they told the banks to do was to go out and buy commodities. That's right, commodities. They wanted to get profits on the bank's balance sheet right away. Get Go and take all that money we're printing and go buy commodities. Do not loan that money to householder owners. Do not loan that money to small businesses. And that's what we're going to feel. That's what we're feeling now leading up to this crash. Because we only propped up the stock market since 2008. And all you had to do is sit in there, strap yourself in, and with the Fed leading the way, with printing massive money under this QE, and creating all this inflation to push the assets up only of the rich, because the one percentile, they have all the assets. The guy on Main Street, his only asset is his job. <clears throat> As I just say, said, 401ks. 50% of the people who have 401ks in our workforce don't even participate in them. So the banks were making all this money, making sure they didn't loan any money to Main Street individuals for homes or businesses, and they're speculating in commodities, and they were buying other banks. They were buying savings banks. So they could, remember, all the savings banks had insurance, FDIC insurance. So what they did, they said, let's print all this money. We'll save you the banks. We'll save all the big investment banks. You run out and buy all these savings banks who have FDIC insurance. Then that way you'll qualify for your FDIC insurance and all your bad loans will be covered. This is what they were doing. This was the scheme. While all along they're telling you how they're going to take care of you, Main Street. The immediate objective of saving the banking system was achieved, but the broader objective which was helping the economy recover quickly in a robust way, in a way with shared prosperity, total failure. But they knew it was going to fail because when they printed all the money and they gave it to the banks, they said, do not loan to Main Street because we don't care about the economy. And to save the banks, we're going to loan you all this, give you all this money, zero rates, and you go out buy savings banks that are all covered underneath this FDIC insurance now, you're an investment bank. You don't have FDIC insurance. But now that you bought a savings bank that's FDIC insurance, you now qualify, and then all your losses would be insured, and we'll let Main Street pick up all those losses. Oh, they were going to help Main Street? This is why we're heading towards the biggest crash ever, and no one's going to tell you the truth. In the meantime, if they keep pushing up artificially, keep taking these rates, and keep pushing them lower and lower and lower the yields, even though we have all kinds of inflation and they artificially engineer them lower and lower, stay with your big tech stocks. We'll talk about that in a moment. The Fed has been on a mission, I've been on a mission, to put Americans back to work. Oh my the God, Fed that, this, that was Cash Carey. Remember him? The biggest BSer in the world. He was one of the reasons why we had the 2008 crash. Listen what he's saying. Look at, listen to this lie. And you're going to pay for it very shortly, 13 years later. The Fed has been on a mission, I've been on a mission, to put Americans back to work. <laughs> yeah, put Americans back to work. How do you put Americans back to work when they print all this money, give it to the banks to also do quantitative easing, where they go in and buy their own shares? They buy their own shares, so there's fewer shares so when they report their earnings, they're spreading their earnings or fewer shares, so their earnings go up artificially, would push up the stock price artificially. They never took any of that money and said to the CEOs of the companies, look, you take this money and you put it back into your company by way of business investment so you can increase productivity so your people can get higher wages. Are you kidding? Another lie, which you're going to feel pretty soon. Want more information?
information on this show, go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Remember, when this market crashed in 2009, it should have never crashed because the chairperson of these two committees, their job was to protect consumers, protect our investments, and they're supposed to ensure that our investments are being monitored. Where were they in 2009 and 2008? They weren't anywhere because they don't do that. They take care of themselves. They protect themselves. They become richer. So you can't depend on these crooks in Congress. The stock market is a great place to be, but you just got to know this is a different market than your grandfather's market. So why don't you, for 30 days, join my gang, 877-600-GANG. Try it for 30 days, thirty nine ninety five. Follow me. I tell you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. All I ask you to start making money, please remember St. Jude. Don't wait. Join Phil's gang today and make profits. Go to philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At PhilzGang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors. And we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And PhilzGang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the PhilzGang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trades, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at PhilzGang.com. That's PhilzGang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy. Is your business prepared to respond to any emergency in the workplace? Well, you better be. Let over 30 years of law enforcement experience go to work for you. Boyd Investigative Group is here for all your business security needs. I know. I use them. They're terrific. Call today for your free confidential consultation. 941-724-4535. That's 941-724-4535. Or visit them on the website, boydinvestigativegroup.com. License number A1-900-020. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy. PhilzGang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited. You're seeing every day the stock market going up. It never comes down. It keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy is going down. And that's what it's doing. The economy is going straight down. You know, banks right now, worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you've got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free for 10 days. Short on time, but want to invest in the stock market? Let philsgang.com help you. For only $39.95 a month, you get complete access to all of Phil's powerful investing programs, videos, and resources. That works for me. Log in, watch the videos, and make profits. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. philsgang.com. When the market's open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list. And it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going 
going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now, Phil's Gang. 877-600-GANG, and you'll be in position, and you'll sleep at night. You don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. Welcome back. Are you ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call, 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Listen, what I'm telling you is this. For 13 years, the scheme has worked. They have driven, especially since 2013, when the six biggest stocks, tech stocks, you know them, the FANG stocks plus Microsoft and Apple took over the S&P. Six stocks drove the other 494 stocks. If you took those six stocks away, the S&P would have dropped. But they've been doing this now for 13 years. It's the easiest money you'll have ever made. Because remember what they were doing. The Federal Reserve lied to us in 2008 under Benecki. Then they lied again under Aunt B. Then now they're lying with Powell. They're saying they did everything and they, to help Main Street, and they're going to keep inflation, their target price, 2%. Total lie. They wanted massive inflation to get massive gains on big tech stocks, and that's where everybody was making their money. Congress, members of Congress, Everybody on Wall Street, they're all addicted to big tech stocks. And that's how they did it. But they continually lied to the people and saying they're there to help you. The Federal Reserve has been putting the pedal to the metal, so we're doing everything we can to support the economy, and we hope that that's going to, you know, get us going uh, next year. Now, what is he saying? We're doing everything we can to support the company. What he's saying, he's both faced, he's coming right out and saying, we're going to do quantitative easing. We're going to print all this money. Don't worry. Inflation's going to be our target, 2%, when inflation was at 15%. But he had to tell people. To make them feel good, we're supporting you, Main Street. No, no, they weren't. They are killing you because, see, you don't have the assets that Main Street have. When they printed all this money starting 2008, right up to 2013 when it really started, all their goal was one thing, create so much inflation it will pull, push all the assets up of the rich. And I've gone over that millions of times. They have exclusive real estate, fine art, rare coins, gold, precious metals, uh, platinum, so forth. And their goal was, after the 2008 crash, to push those up first. They didn't care about Main Street. See, Main Street, like I said, only 14% of American households have, have are directly invested in one individual stock, in any individual stocks. Only 44% of our 160 million labor force have a 401k. And 50% of the, the 42%, they don't participate. The majority of Americans, they don't own stocks. They don't have savings. You know what their investment is? Their job. But they've been screwed because what Bernanke is saying here is a lie. For them to get your job, to do well, to get you better jobs, better raises, they need to print money and to put it back, and CEOs need to put it back into their business called business investment, CapEx. So they produce more and you get a wage increase. Now the lying is just incredible. Listen to this. The Federal Reserve has been putting the pedal to the metal, so we're doing everything we can to support the economy, and we hope that that's going to, you know, get us going uh, next year sometime. Quantitative easing, what in the world is that? Quantitative easing, that's just a, a Greek term to a lot of people. A lot of people want to know what they're going to say about what we call quantitative easing. So when Bernanke said he's going to take care of everybody, he's got his foot on, uh, on the gas, right? Nobody knew what the hell he was talking about, about QE, so he could lie to them. And he was saying, oh, no, no, we're just going to print all this money, and, and, and the rich are going to be able to have all the, their stocks are going to go up, and they're going to take all the money they make from the stocks, and they're going to trickle it down to Main Street, create jobs for them. What a lie. The way quantitative easing works is that it's a lowering 
of the interest rates that leads stocks to go up. And so who owns the stocks? It's the people in the top, not just the top 10%, 1%, one tenth of 1%. And so it increases enormously wealth inequality. And yet nobody was giving a coherent explanation as to how the Fed showering trillions of dollars onto Wall Street banks was actually directly benefiting the average American. And I'll tell you why they weren't uh, talking about it, because it doesn't. That's right. I've been telling you this for years. The Federal Reserve is the number one enemy of the people. Since 2008, their job has been to protect and to grow the wealth of the top one percentile. And that's what they've been doing. All at the off the back of the Main Street person who works hard. See, none of that money went back into businesses called CapEx or business investments so that you could produce more with new machinery and get rate raises. See, see, the majority of people on Main Street who have an income, combined income of $60,000, $65,000 or less, their only real investment <clears throat> is their wages. So they got to depend on getting a good, good job, getting health insurance from that job, make sure that employer gives them new equipment and machinery so they can produce more. If they produce more, they get more wages. But see, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. It was only to make sure the assets of the wealthy, and it's still going on today, which means everybody was putting money in to keep pushing up the big tech stocks. The whole idea, print money, give it to the banks, the banks go buy their own stock back, and then keep pushing up the tech stocks, the tech stocks. There was so much money made, and it's still being made, still being made. And Wall Street is making all the money, and Main Street's getting poorer and poorer. What does that mean at the end? It means that the guy on Main Street, when this crash happens, he is so screwed. It's going to be the worst worst crash he ever had. Now, I don't want to come out and say this. I could do it like everybody else says. Oh, everything's great. Everything's wonderful. Join my gang. Everything's per yeah. No, I'm, t I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth is, if you were with us since 2008 or even since 2013, you would have been in all the big tech stocks enjoying this, this rally because we knew what was going on. We knew they were screwing Main Street and that they're just going to keep printing money and make sure they could push as much inflation as possible. It's inflation they want. When they tell you it's capped at 2%, their targets, that's not the truth. So what do we do now? Look, we have Apple since the time it current, our members... Since the day it turned green, are up 18%. Microsoft, they're up 15 cents since the day it turned green. Now, if you go off of the big tech, what also benefits uh, is from higher yields, though, our target. Now, target, we're up about 48%. So what do you do now? Well, everything's up to the cues, and I'll explain that when I get back so to make sure you don't get hurt. We'll be right back after the break. Join my gang, Phil's gang. Free, 10 days. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grain at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, it keeps going up because of the tremendous stimulus that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy's going down. That's what it's doing. The economy's going straight down. You know, banks right now are the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market's still going up. And you've got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out, and that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today, free, for 10 days.
When the markets open, we watch the market all day long. And when we see there's an opportunity for a stock, and it's a stock that we've been following. We, we, there's a lot of stocks we put on our watch list. And it has to hit a certain criteria. Then when it does, we alert you. You immediately get an alert. It says, we bought this stock, X stock, at $30. So you get an alert immediately. What's better than that? I mean, nobody does that for you. But the most important thing, they'll say, okay, here's why we're getting out now. Or here's why we're taking profits. I think it's going to go down. Look, the most important thing is this. I want you to be prepared for when the market does tank or rally that you're with us, Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG. Join my gang right now, Phil's gang. 877-600-GANG, and you'll be in position, and you'll sleep at night. You don't have to worry. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. That's 877-600-4264. I've been a Phil's Gang member since 2014. Over that time, I've generated over six-figure profits. Following Phil, his charting system has really been a huge impact on my career and my life. I would recommend Phil's Gang to the mom and pop out there. I would recommend it to parents teaching their children. I would recommend it to grandparents. If you really trust in their system, you will do well. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877 877- 600 4264. With the PhilsGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilsGang.com or call 877 600 Gang. That's 877 600 4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. I've been a Phil's Gang member since 2014. Over that time, I've generated over six-figure profits. Following Phil, his charting system has really been a huge impact on my career and my life. I would recommend Phil's Gang to the mom and pop out there. I would recommend it to parents teaching their children. I would recommend it to grandparents. If you really trust in their system, you will do well. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877 877- 600-4264. With the philsgang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at philsgang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. Welcome back. Learn, invest, and make profits with Phil Grandy. Simply go to philsgang.com. Now, here's Phil. Quantitative easing. What in the world is that? Quantitative easing. That's just a, a Greek term to a lot of people. A lot of people want to know what they're going to say about what we call quantitative easing. The way quantitative easing works is that it's a lowering of the interest rates that leads stocks to go up. And so... Who owns the stocks? It's the people in the top. Not just the top 10%, 1%, one-tenth of 1%. And so it increases enormously wealth inequality. 
And yet, nobody was giving a co coherent explanation as to how the Fed showering trillions of dollars onto Wall Street banks was actually directly benefiting the average American. And I'll tell you why they weren't uh, talking about it, because it doesn't. Exactly. But with our members, we always told them what was going on with quantitative easing. It was a farce. It was fake. But that's okay. We took advantage of it. Because since 2008, but specifically since 2013, stocks just soared. In fact, the whole stock market went up. The whole S&P went up. Even when they weren't tech stocks, because six stocks were pushing up 494 stocks. And it's still happening today. But after 13 years, because of the massive inflation, which they lie about and say there's no inflation or they got it at 2% or target, that massive inflation, we're getting closer and closer to people now, Main Street, who, by the way, remember, QE was put in place to help those who did not need help. The people who did not need, the people who needed all the help on Main Street got screwed. Now, the problem is, every time you print money through this quantitative easing to help the rich to get their stocks going up and their assets going up, it destroys from within Main Street because you're destroying the value of the dollar and the purchasing power of the dollar. But after so long, the people on Main Street, when they go to the store or pay for their insurance or whatever, they don't have enough money because their only asset, their asset, really is their wages. The majority of people in this country don't even own a house. What are you talking about? So the poor folks on Main Street, they've reached a point now, soon, I don't know when, but soon, they're going to have to make up their mind. They're going to have to not pay something, either their credit card, their school loan, their house mortgage, their rent. But they're going to get to that point once again, like we did back in uh, 2008 when the market crashed, because we're right there again. We're right there again where they're going to have to make a, a decision because they've been left out while the rich have been getting richer. But see, that's too bad for you folks who never were a gang member. You weren't being told this. You were never told what stocks to be in, what stocks you should be taking advantage of. And here's the important thing. 85% of you who are in tech stocks are never going to get out in time. You people in 401ks, you're never going to get out in time. You're going to lose money. We always guide our members. We always tell them what's going on. We always tell them the truth, what's going on in QE, and we take advantage of these crooks. Why not? So anytime we're up 18%, 20%, 30% in these big tech stocks, the one thing my members know is when to get out. 85% of the people don't know. Now, we're getting to that point, closer and closer, I can't give you a day, where the guys at Pete and Gals on Main Street are going to have to make a decision. They can't pay all the payments. They can't meet their house and their credit card and their student loans. Something's going to have to give. And when that happens, that's when the market crashes. In the meantime, what do we do? In the meantime... We're keeping our eye on the yields every day, on the treasury yields for our members. And we also keep an eye on the Qs. What are the Qs? That's the NASDAQ 100 top tech stocks. And the key is whether you're an Apple or Microsoft or whatever tech stock you into it, whatever one you're in, you've got to look at the Qs for guidance. And you've got to look at the yields for guidance. So in other words, you take QQQ, put it up on your my chart, my color-coded chart. Okay? The biggest problem you got right now is... When they pushed up the Qs, and last week, when they were pushing the stock, what wasn't going up was the volume. The volume wasn't going up. And also, when the yields dropped, the Qs should have been really soaring, and they didn't. That's bad. So right now, unless we can hold, you got to hold for at least five days. Got to hold for at least five days. If we can hold for five days, okay, the area right around 365, okay, here, I'll give you a number. If, if the Qs don't break below, don't break below the high of 365 for five days, but you've got to have at least average, average volume. We're below average volume. When you're below average volume, that is telling you the only people who are buying this crap is what we call the tourist investor. These are the people that always get hurt right before the market crashes. They don't know what they're doing. All they do is listen to fake business news. Network. Everybody told them all last week, get in, buy in the dip, buy in the dip. Look at the cues, buy in the dip. Buy big tech on the dip, you're going to get rich. Buy Tesla on the dip. That's terrible. So we're still in these stocks. We're still in Microsoft and Apple and all these, but we're going to know when to get out, and my members too. So here's your key, and this is free. You've got to make sure that the Q stay above that, as I say, 
I'll give you the high again, around 365 for a week. It's got to be a solid trading week. Not with the volume you have now. It isn't going to work. You've got to have at least average and a little bit above average volume. That's you get at least a little bit above average. And if it holds for five days, then continue with your Microsoft and your Apple and Intuit and Facebook and Netflix and all those stocks you, you know, that you're addicted to. And you can, and we will too. But if it doesn't, we're not going to continue. We're going to start looking at stocks to short to make money on the way down, which will be tech stocks. But there's the problem. 85% of you don't know what to do. Is anybody calling you and guiding you and saying, look, if the queues don't hold for at least the next week with at least average volume in a couple of days above average, then these stocks are going to drop. Anyone, no, of course not. I want to continue with this. Now listen to this here. And yet nobody was giving a coherent explanation as to how the Fed showering trillions of dollars onto Wall Street banks was actually directly benefiting the average American. And I'll tell you why they weren't uh, talking about it. Because it doesn't. You can create money out of thin air if you're at the central bank. So creating more money puts more money in the banking system, put more money out there for the economy to take it and put it to work and to grow and to restore itself. But that's not what they did. See, another lie. That's Fisher. He's lying. You see, if they took that money, that 0% money, and, they get, and the companies took that money, which they did, and put it into new machinery and equipment, and then that means there'd be more productivity and wages grow. But he's a liar. They never took their money. CEOs never took that money and bought new machinery and equipment so that you could increase your productivity so you could get a wage increase. You could have more savings. No, they never did it. What did they do with all that money? That's zero. They took the money and speculated on other stocks, and they also speculated on their own stock by purchasing their own stock. They never put that money back into business investments. So that's why people are hurting. In spite of, and they cover it up by saying, oh, look at this, it, we, savings are up $7 trillion. Basically, by making money so inexpensive, by suddenly it being abundant and cheap and easy to get, they just flooded the zone with capital. Easy money. Easy money. Trillions of dollars of easy money, like the greatest experiment in easy money in history. All that easy money sparked a rally in the stock market. That's right. That's right. Sparked a rally. But if you knew what you're doing, you'd capture all that money, some of that money in tech stocks. But you have to know when to get out of them, as we do. And the result of that is we got the largest disconnect ever between Main Street and Wall Street. That's and right. the result. That's right, because. Well, they've been lying for all these years, and now we're getting to the point they're still lying. And the fake business is never going to keep telling you, buying a dip, buying a dip. Don't look at the don't look at the yields. Remember, when yields go down, anytime the yield is below 150 basis points, it's telling you the economy is getting worse and worse and worse, and inflation is getting higher and higher and higher. Yet they lie every day about that. In practice, the Fed was very successful in terms of moving asset prices. It was much less successful in moving the economy. Right, they can't, they can't grow the economy. They never grew the economy. What they grew was tech stocks and people were addicted to them. But do you know when they get out? Join my gang. We know when they get out, exactly when they get out. Want more information on this show? Go to philsgang.com or give them a call at 877-600-GANG. Hi, I'm Phil Grady at philsgang.com. You probably heard me on the radio talking about investing in stocks and trading stocks. Well, this is a special message that I am sending out to you. You, the person who is the beginner, who are getting excited, you're seeing every day the stock market going up, never comes down, keeps going up, you a tremendous stimulus 
that the president is putting into this market. He wants to continue this market going up while the economy is going down. That's what it's doing. The economy is going straight down. You know, banks right now are the worst ever. They've gone down 40%. I mean, everything's going down. Companies aren't making money, but the stock market is still going up. And you got to be very, very careful when you get into a market like this. you got to know when to get out. And that's where we come in. So if you're a beginner and you want to start learning how to invest stocks properly and have the comfort level of knowing when to get out, when to buy, when to sell, and when to get out, contact us at philsgate.com. Join today free for 10 days. Warning. Google, Apple, Microsoft, Netflix, Facebook, all these hot stocks are going to crash. They're going to drop as much as 60-70%. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy, philsgang.com. Exactly what happened in the dot-com days is going to repeat itself. Remember, 85% of the people lose money in the stock market because they don't know when to get out. I fixed that with my color code technology chart. It tells you when to buy, when to sell, when to add, and when to run like hell. That's right. Make sure you check it out. It's free for 10 days. Philsgang.com. Did you know breast cancer kills 113 people every day? That's unacceptable. African American women die from breast cancer, nearly 41% more than Caucasian women. That's unacceptable. Breast cancer is the leading cause of all cancer deaths for Hispanic women. Breast cancer is unacceptable. Together with Susan G. Komen, we're committed to reducing U.S. breast cancer deaths by half. And we're going to do it by 2026. Visit Komen.org slash unacceptable. With the PhilzGang.com membership, we bring investors right to the floor. Into the pits with Phil's daily live webinar classroom. Get inside market guidance on investing strategies. Find out more at PhilzGang.com or call 877-600-GANG. That's 877-600-4264. Don't have time to analyze and study stocks? At philsgang.com, we recognize that there are all types of investors, and we also recognize that your time is valuable. So we offer investing programs for all individuals. We offer investing programs for long-term and short-term positions. And philsgang.com provides quick and easy to understand investing videos that only take a few minutes to watch. With the philsgang.com investing programs, you will learn technical stock charting, how to execute your trade, and most importantly, you will gain the confidence to know when to get out of a stock and take profits. Sign up at philsgang.com. That's philsgang.com. Or give them a call, 877-600-GANG. I've been a Phil's Gang member since 2014. Over that time, I've generated over six-figure profits. Following Phil, his charting system has really been a huge impact on my career and my life. I would recommend Phil's Gang to the mom and pop out there. I would recommend it to parents teaching their children. I would recommend it to grandparents. If you really trust in their system, you will do well. For more information, go to philsgang.com or give us a call at 877 877- Ready to make profits in the stock market? Why not check out philsgang.com or give us a call 877-600-4264. Now, here's Phil. And welcome back to Phil's Gang. Join my gang free for 10 days. You get your color-coded chart and you participate with us. And remember, every day, Steve, who's the head of our education department, will post our portfolio. And we'll tell you, with each stock in our portfolio, exactly what to do. Intel still holding short with a stop at 54.9. Then he goes on and on and tells you when you add, don't add, when to get out. Look, you'll always know when to get out of your stock. 85% of you are going to lose money again, just like you do with the dot-com, just like you did with the housing con, just like you did when we had the uh, crash the, the, uh, uh, from February of 2020. The pandemic crashed to March. You're going to get hurt again because you don't know when to get out. So we know that quantitative easing is a fraud. Matter of fact, it used to be a felony to do it. And but we will know when to get our members out. We know exactly when to get our members out. 
We talk to our members every day about the bond yields. We always know. And for the members who don't want to do anything, they just want to just, just tell me when to add, when not to add, and when to get out, and when to short. And we do that for them every day. Try it for 10 days. Go to our working investor group, philsgang.com. Sign up with our working investor group. It's fun, and you'll enjoy it. And you're going to see, you're going to say, God, why didn't I do this years ago? I'm going to finish up with this. Listen to this. Bernanke lied to us all the way along. He said, well, this is working so good, he says, for Main Street, that we're going to start tapering down. No more QE. No more printing all this money. We're going to taper it down. If we see continued improvement and we have confidence that that is going to be sustained, then we could, and in the next few meetings, we could take a step down in our... He knew that was a lie. He knew he couldn't take it down. He knew he could not taper QE. They had to keep driving those interest rates down to take care of the wealthy, to keep moving those big tech stocks up, because big tech stocks go up with yields going down. The only way you can do that is print money, print money, print money, keep buying those treasuries, get those yields down. That's how it works. He knows Main Street was suffering. He knows he screwed Main Street. He did it on purpose to make sure the wealthy, those in Congress, those on Wall Street continue to make a fortune in the big tech stocks. And they're still making a fortune today because they know when to get out, just like we do. And I keep telling you, the last week, watch the cues. If they don't hold for a week, then get out of those damn things. Listen to this. Where Wall Street says, whoa, 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 no, 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 unacceptable, and values plunge. And if That's right. As soon as he said we're going to taper, Wall Street went nuts. And he, and he turns, oh, no, no, I was only kidding. Chairman Bernanke had to go in a conference in Boston and say, no, 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 we're not tapering. You can only conclude that um, highly accommodative monetary policy. Oh, shut up. What you can conclude is you're a liar. And what we do conclude, everybody who works for the Federal Reserve works for the owners. That's what we can conclude. They work for our owners. And that's their job. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the state houses, the city halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. Yeah, see that? Bernanke, you're owned. You're owned. Powell's owned. You're all owned. By the one one hundredth of one percentile. They tell you what to do. And remember, Congress, we have more millionaires in Congress than anywhere else. And how do they make their money? For the big tech stocks. So again, join my gang. We're going to stay in these tech stocks until we see that red flag. And as long as the queues continue to hold, I gave you the number a few minutes ago. I'll even give it to you again. If you take a look at the queues, okay, and I'll give you the number, as long as they stay above 365, for five days, but you got to have better than average value, even average value. I'll even do average volume, okay? You got to have average volume, but you don't. That's a real big problem. That is a problem. So the bottom line is, just like the savings, you've been lied to. When they say there's $7 trillion in savings, they make it sound like everybody has $7 trillion in their checking account. Remember, just the top 1% who have 2.5 million in their savings account, top 10 percentile have 1.6 million in their savings account or more, and 50% of the people, 34,000, 30% 30 26, bottom 20% 22 grand. But the majority of the people in this country, if you take the majority of the workers, our workforce, about 160 million people, take the majority. They only have in savings a total of $11,700. So they lie again. Look, you can, have a lot of, you, you can have a lot of fun with stocks as long as you know what you're doing. And one of the biggest things you need to know, when do I get out? When do I add to my position? That's right. How many times have you ever called your broker or planner and say, when's the last time? Here's the one thing I want to ask you. When's the last time you talked to the guy who's managing your 401k? Because you're really going to get slammed. When's the last time you talked with him or her who managed it? You haven't had you. Can you imagine having your money in a 401k you haven't even talked to anyone? Have they talked to you at all about what the situation is right now with the yields? Have they talked to you about how they've been lying every day about the yields, about inflation? 
And when, the, and when we saw the Treasury yields going down to 118 basis points from 172 in April, that told you the inflation is huge. And they're also telling you, okay, that the economy looking forward is terrible. It's terrible. But it doesn't matter to us as long as they continue driving the big tech stocks and Main Street's getting screwed. And as long as those tech stocks go up, we're going to be in them, just like they're going to be in them, the, the one percentile. That's the key. That's the key right there. you got to know what the hell you're doing. Do you know with 401ks, the fees... People don't even, people think that, I think they just did another survey. It was like 62% of the people that own a 401k, they don't even know there's fees. They had no idea they're going to charge fees. That's crazy. A 2% fee negates, think about this, just a 2% fee negates the tax advantage and defeats the purpose of a 401k. A 2% fee. An extra 1% that they always hide, hidden fees, after 35 years. It's going to cost you one-third of the money you set aside. Think about that. You start out, you're, you go to your work, you start about 25, 26 years old. You're ready to retire in 30, 35 years. You think you got all this money, and they tacked on another 1% hidden fee. A third, a third extra is gone. Understand that? Now, just 44% of our 157 million or 160 million workforce have 401ks. The majority are service workers, okay? The majority are service workers. So 50% of the 44% don't even contribute. They can't afford because they're service workers. Remember, the kind of jobs today, no longer do we have manufacturing jobs. The majority of our jobs are service workers. That's why they can't afford to participate in their 401k. That's why of the 44% have a 401k, 50% can't participate. That's crazy. That, that's crazy. Companies, and you know what they do, these companies? You didn't, the reason you didn't know there wasn't any fees is because it's a result of companies not offering any standardized investment education program because they don't want you to know. Just They don't want you to know. Just like QE, they did not want you to know what that's all about. That's right. And think about it. $104,000 average balance, okay, is what you need, minimum. Okay, minimum 104,000, and very few people have that. And, and you've got to contribute not 8%. Your 401k, if you're not contributing at least 10%, you're never going to make it because the fees are too high. 27 hidden fees you don't even see. And remember what I'm saying. Remember what I'm saying. Just a one fee extra will wipe out one third of your retirement money. When they tell you your fees are two percent, it's a lie. They never include the hidden fees. Never include it. So again, remember, if you want to retire and you and you want to live the same way the same way you became accustomed to while you're working, your employer better start putting money into his company, giving you good equipment, machinery, productivity, so you can save more. You gotta start putting aside ten percent a month. Very few people can do that. And if you can manage your own money, that's the key right there. I mean, there's nothing better than managing your own money, getting away from these gangsters on Wall Street. Check it out. Go to my site, postgang.com. Sign up under Working Investor. You'll love the program. It's fun. And we do make money. Please remember St. Jude's. Ten days free.